Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm Dennis. Uh, I, I sing in Dark Horse and I'm part of the band pretty much since the beginning, which is 2011. Um, yeah, you know, do what I do. Um, uh, I'm Dale. I've been in the band since uh, January <laughs> 2024. So I'm the, the oldest and also youngest member of the band. <laughs> Very good, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Cool. And we're, we're Dark Horse. You are Dark Horse indeed. <laughs> Dark Horse are playing at the fifth annual Medal in the Mountains to be held at Beechworth on November the 30th. Like, I haven't been to one of them yet, guys, but it looks like it's a pretty cool festival. Absolutely. Uh, I haven't been either, but, uh, you know, know quite a few friends who have played there with events and they said it's an excellent festival, uh, very good organization and a uh, lovely crowd. So I can't wait to actually go somewhere, you know, where we haven't been and yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. And it also features our Sorted Ordeal. There's Mammon's Throne, Munitions, the Kriegers and more, mate. So have you played with anyone on the lineup before or are you going to be playing with them all for the first time? Um, I think most of these bands are actually uh, new to us. I think we played with Munitions once. Uh, oh, but it's a bit blurry, to be honest. Um, yeah, no, uh, most of the bands are new to me. Uh, like I heard some of it, heard some tracks. Uh, yeah. And so it's, you know, it's new. It's new, yeah. And what can fans or what can punters expect from your set on the day? What are you guys going to bring? Look, it's the same Dark Horse energy. Uh, it, it's funny, like, uh, I I uh, was a big fan of the band before I joined. And uh, Dark Horse is this one of the most consistent bands. I would, like, strip your face off every time. Um, you know, it's like 30 minutes of of just intense energy uh riffs and uh and just you know just in your face uh, and off your face. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Now, the thing with festivals like this is because there's so many bands, like different sort of bands there, a lot of people go and won't know every band, of course. So for those that are unfamiliar with Dark Horse, give us a bit of a history. Uh, I mean, I'm doing hey, you're out of that one mate. From, from a fan who's now in the band, or well, like a, a bit of bit of both, actually. So <laughs> maybe you start. I, I, I add up. Well, uh, Dark Horse, three albums deep. Uh, uh, the first album came out in like 14, 2014. Um, the first album that I got was uh, Bomb Throw, which was the second album. Uh, look, uh, D beat hardcore. Uh, with a bit of kind of grindcore-ish moments. Uh, it's kind of got thrash bits, um, Dennis's vocals, uh, like, out in front. Um, pro possibly the best uh, DB drummer in the universe, uh, in uh, Fran, who's just, like, an absolute beast, has a has a swing that, like, when he's playing D-beat, they're just, like, a rolling swing, which is just beautiful. Um it's like four elements all all coming together into what is like, um, and it's funny. Like Dark Horse has a sound. Like it it sounds like Dark Horse. You hear a Dark Horse track, you're like, oh, that's Dark Horse. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. You know, bands I've been in before. You know, you kind of take elements here and there, but it's just like it's funny. Like I, I keep on talking about the Dark Horse law, like the L O R E law. Like there's a way of doing things, a way of writing songs that is is ultimately sort of dark horse-ish. Mm -hmm. it, it is true. After, you know, after 14 years, we definitely found a formula. And uh, our MO was always, you know, to be full on in your face. And uh, we've done it since, since day one. You know, it was always go fast, do DB, heavy, uh, and, and, you know, blow people's faces off. And that, uh, even now, after after 14, 15 years, you know, still has to be, uh, you know, the objective. So especially live, we 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 want to, you know, well, lack of a better word, we want to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, give us three songs of yours, I guess, and the people can listen to you before they come to Metal in the Mountains to get a bit of an idea of what to expect. Dale, what's your favourite? 
Uh, oh, look, Bomb Thrower, the song. Um, what else? Well, uh, there's, there's a song called To Hell With It, which uh, usually goes down pretty smoothly with people. Immigrant. Immigrant is a good song from the last record. Um, yeah, but... Uh, What's the song of the seven? Of the ideation? The what, I, yeah. Oh, 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 under the stress. Under the stress. That's, that's my. Your... That's my. That's my jam. Under the stress. That's your jam, no. The yeah. stress or distress. The, under this stress. Distress. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we probably get in trouble for saying that these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, under distress. Distress, right? Yeah. Now tell us a bit more about yourself, Dale. Like you say, you've only come in this year. So what, what do you bring to uh, to Dark Horse and the sound? uh i don't know like just um you know uh, uh just a happy disposition really uh I, i've been playing in uh i've been playing bands for sort of 30 years i used to play or i still do uh i used to play and then rejoined the Amenta uh yeah. last year so um plus used to play in a band called grim uh that's how we kind of connected uh but i've also sort of i play in all sorts of bands playing soul bands and i uh, played in a, a hip-hop band for many years that were moderately famous so um you know getting around that's me yes yeah and you're you're a fan of the band before joining you say yeah i reckon i probably saw 20 or so shows um over the years um including you know some that were large yeah, and some that were small. We played lots of small. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we actually did a, a show together uh, with uh, Grim, my band, and uh, and Dark Horse. At we were just talking about it at a venue in uh, Sydney, uh, just out out of COVID when there was I think it was it, it was twelve or fifteen seated. It was It something. was during COVID, and there were bean bags for people to sit because of and it was all the, social distance. Yeah, yeah. wow. Uh, we were playing two. Two sets that night. Yeah. Uh, and it was amazing. Uh, 12 people. Yeah. Uh, in the end, we had a bit of a beanbag mosh pit. <laughs> people were told they have to sit down, but they didn't want to. So they threw their beanbags and we still got a bit of a mosh there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> now, you've mentioned this a few times before, and I, I've never heard the term before, but what is, what is deep beat hardcore? Oh. That's a big question. Look, uh, D-beat is just basically, it's a drum beat. And right, yeah. uh, uh, I'm not even sure who coined it. People often often uh, subscribe to, to the band Discharge from the UK. But I'm not sure that it's actually true. But that's where the D comes from, right? Maybe. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's a specific drum beat. Um, you would know it as soon as you heard it. It's like do but the but do but the but do but the but do but. It's like that kind of. It's it's like a swung thrash beat or something. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Or like a blast, which is like. It's like. Okay, yeah. It's only a bit of a swing to it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's a lot, lot of groove in that, and and while we're playing pretty fast, um, it is it is really important to to keep that groove. Because that is kind of the dark horse formula as well, you know, being intense and upfront, but making it possible for the listener to to get into it, no matter how hard it is, no matter how fast it is, and uh, yeah, DB kind of provides the perfect the perfect pathway to that. I find. Mm. Yeah. Plus, really cool. we all really, really like, uh, you know, lots of DB bands like Tragedy or Disphere. That you know, to an extent, have 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 influenced us. Sweet. Now you mentioned this before too when we were talking about songs, but you've got a seven-inch split with Canberra-based band Brightworms. So tell us about that. Um. Yeah, they hit us up. Uh, we, we're doing a seven. We've done out. We went down to their studio in Canberra for the day, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, for those of you who are outside of Sydney, it's three-hour drive there and back. We went up in the morning, recorded, banged out three songs, and then uh, and then came back that night. Wow. Uh, um, yeah, so that's the first three songs. One of the songs uh, was written before I joined, but like we refined it 
and then two new songs. So uh, uh, it's the the you know the brand new Dark Horse sound, which is the same sound as before, <laughs> but newer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, um, Rowan from Extortion doing the artwork, um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully we will have uh, the physical record ready before the end of the year. That yeah. is that is our plan. But you know you can never be sure if everything goes goes smoothly. But yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna sound good. It's gonna look good. It's gonna be good. It's good. <laughs> and you're also working towards a uh, full length album for next year, I believe. That's right. Um, yeah, the last record is when was it? I think we wrote it in 2020 and came out in 21 during COVID, and. Uh, which was a tricky time to to make a record because we had to postpone the recording uh the, the studio several times because of lockdowns and then we had to kind of mix the record via whatsapp because we couldn't actually sit in the same room and and discuss things so um yeah um we were all we we are all really keen to do another record and uh you know turn out some real good tracks in in dark horse manner with dale and uh, <laughs> hopefully he uh you know can bring something to the table <laughs> well you're gonna find out baptism of fire absolutely <laughs> now you've also got a few other shows coming up you've got sydney on november 23rd melbourne on november 30th erskineville on december 7th and dunwich hall on december the 8th now i have no idea where those last two are but tell us about the shows they're both, they're both sydney but... right yeah 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 uh um so yeah uh, we we got the show in uh, in melbourne on the 29th uh the night before metal in the mountains and i was just you know looking into booking a show to make make the trip really worthwhile and yeah, when it came to the lineup, I just thought, I'm just going to ask all of our friends if they want to play. Yeah. Um, and everybody said yes, and we got a banging lineup. And um, yeah, so that's the weekend in Victoria. And you got then, Black Rhino in, in Sydney on November 23rd, too? That's right. We, That'd be we, cool. We're good friends with them, and uh, they asked us, do you want to jump on that show? Free show in, in Sydney? And I said, of course we do. And so yeah, we do that. Yeah, and then the uh the Erskineville and um Dollar Chill. Dollar Chill shows uh on a Saturday, Sunday with Black Jesus. And the Saturday nights with uh Black Worms as well. So that was yeah. going to be a seven inch uh re launch, really? but like hopefully let's let's see how Black Worms are are uh uh still in the process of like, they're doing their string quartet recording okay. again and uh the horn section is next. So very cool. Where can people find out more information about these shows and get tickets? Uh, always Instagram, Facebook, and, you know, they they local shows. The show is Black Reno. It's going to be free. Yeah. Uh, the venue is not huge, so come early, but um, it's a free show. And, yeah, the other two shows, you know, just show up at the door and yeah. buy a ticket. Sounds good, you. boys. What All right. Think? Well, thanks for your time. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Um, Dark Horse are playing Metal in the Mountains at Beachworks on November 30th. There's also some other shows around, so check out the socials. Keep up with the boys and best of luck.